Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're going to be taking a, looking at, taking a look at what does your person or the person on your mind tell people about you behind your back? What do they say behind your back? Maybe they tell you one thing to your face and they're saying another thing behind their back. All right, we'll see. All right, I'm going to pull a card here to see who this person may be. So you can tell, you know, because obviously it's not going to pick up everybody's story. But all right, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels, please allow me to put a clear message for the Aries Collective. Give us an idea, indication of who this person may be to the Aries. Who is this person? Thank you. So this is interesting. When I was shuffling before just to shuffle the deck up to get the energies um, moving, this card was actually the first card that came out. And I was actually asking what, you know, what the person said about you, not the overall energy, and it came out still. So this could be a person here who themselves, this is why I'm getting, themselves may have a mental disorder or acts like it, right? There's a lot of people who don't necessarily have one, but they act like it. Um, they could possibly be saying this about you, but I'm feeling strongly that this person here has one themselves, okay? Because this is the energy of who this person is, all right? We have mental disorder, depression, anxiety, narcissism, etc. This person may have put you in a third party, okay? Um, and how you know who this person is, you may have had encounters with their third party, may not even necessarily had encounters, but their third party knows who you are, okay? Um, and obviously this is someone that you were with before, so they you know, may have maybe with a third party right now. And we have third party is watching, stalking, or spying. So if you've had a situation where with your ex or current person with a third party, this person, how you know who this is coming up, they watch you, stalk you, okay? They're obsessed with you. This could also be someone here who proposed marriage to you or talked about wanting to marry you. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have fatal attraction in reverse. So this is how you know who this is. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull one more card. Two more cards from the Romance Angels. <clears throat> All right. So another way that you may know who this person is, we got calling in your soulmate. You may have vivid dreams of this person. Okay. You could even be in separation from this person and you're constantly dreaming about them. They're, you're con they're constantly in your energy. They're constantly coming up in readings. Um, somebody is actively trying to manifest you. Because we got calling in your soulmate. So, and I just feel that it's like somebody here is pulling on your energy constantly. Okay. So, let's see. How else would Aries know who this person is? <clears throat> okay. And we have flirt. So, this person could be a big flirt. I'm hearing ladies' man. Okay. It could be, um, doesn't have to be a man. But I'm hearing like a ladies' man type of energy <clears throat> or a person really who thinks, I don't know if they do, could possibly, but always thinks that people want them and they're just very um, flirtatious. It's like to the point where it's annoying. It's almost annoying how like, you know, how much like they just are out there. Okay. So let's see here. What does this person say about Aries? To their friends, to their family, and behind their back. What does this person say about Aries? The Aries that this reading is for. What does this person? All right. So we have the devil and the ten of wands. Again, there's that kind of like that, that, that narcissism, mental disorder. They could feel, see, seem like the situation that you guys were in. I don't know who ended it. But they could be saying that you may have ended it or they ended it because you were toxic. And you put them through a lot. And this could be reversed. This is just what they're saying. Okay. These cards come out together. Right. The relationship was very toxic and very difficult. There was always arguments, fighting, 
Um, it was always like maybe you put them through so much like burdens and whatnot. What do we have here? King of Wands energy. So yeah, I feel like they're telling people that yeah, Aries was the one who you know put me through so much and made it so difficult to be with them, right? And they could have been the toxic one. All right, what else did this person tell people about Aries? Thank you. Ooh, the cards are coming out two at a time. High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles. So some of you here could be very good at manifesting money. Okay, that's what I just got here with the High Priestess. Also, some of you could have a spiritual business and you make a lot of money or you're starting to make money. This is like new energy. So they could tell people about your business and I'm not sure if you want them to, okay, or not, but they're watching. They know that you're very intuitive, that they know that you're very spiritual, okay? And you have some sort of business and they feel like you make, even whether they know or not, they feel like you make a lot of money and that's what they tell people. Okay. Also, they tell people that, you know, that's maybe why they didn't want to leave you or why they want to come back to you. Others of you, it's just that you are, you manifest money very well. Okay. What else are they telling um, people about? So we have the hermit energy here. They could tell people that you stay to yourself a lot. Okay. Very withdrawn from the connection or you with, you were the one who left them. Okay. Let's clarify this because I get a lot of holding back energy here. What is a hermit? Yeah, three of swords. Ooh. All right. So, so some of you, there was a third party situation. Okay, with someone else, and maybe they if they did this to you, it's something that they're keeping to themselves, but they tell other people about. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So they could be hiding it that they did this. You may know it, right? But definitely here with the Hermit and the Three of Swords. Could be with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Virgo. Okay. I feel like also, like if this person was, because I'm, I'm hearing like habitual cheater. If this person did this a lot, obviously their friends know about it, right? Their friends may have hid it, helped them get away with it. And this is something that they hold in and I feel like it really messes with them. With the three of swords, I'm getting like energy, like, you know, the thoughts, like they replay these thoughts over and over in, in their head. They know what they did to you. I'm not sure if they've come clean about it or not, but it really breaks their heart that they hold it in. What else to see? Two of cups. So they feel like your soulmates as well. And I've got past life relationship underneath here and it's in reverse. So they feel like you two are soulmates, but you couldn't just get on the same path, right? It was always fights and arguments. It was always very heated fights, um, kind of like a fatal attraction kind of situation. It's like you guys loved each other so deeply, had so much passion and love for each other. But nobody else, you didn't want anybody else to have that person you, and they didn't want anybody else to have you because you constantly were arguing because maybe you two were both very attractive and got a lot of attention. And I'm feeling like there was a lot of jealousy. There was also a lot of competition in the relationship and I'm hearing it didn't have to be right. I don't know why I feel like somebody had insecurities and they made the other person jealous or put them in competition on purpose intentionally to kind of stroke their ego. Ooh, ooh, that was a mouthful. Okay. Let's see here. What else does this person tell people about Aries? Seven of Pentacles. What does this clarify? And the Ten of Cups. So this person, if they tell people, if you guys were never like in a formal relationship, maybe with a title, <clears throat> they're telling people that you were the reason that it never really made it down the altar, so to speak, or with a commitment. You were the one that was holding back. Maybe you didn't want to invest in the commitment. You know, you were taking your time. You were the person that wasted a lot of the time. And it could be reversed. This is just what they're telling people. <clears throat> Mm, okay. Five of cups. What else? What are they telling people? We have the judgment. Oof, and the seven of swords. I feel like this could have been a karmic situation. Judgment talks about lessons, things coming back up. 
It's like almost every time, because I feel like this was like a repeat. Look at this eight of cups here. Every time in this situation, you guys came back together. Like there was a makeup and breakup type of situation. It never really went anywhere because someone was always dishonest. Every time they came back to the relationship, they were never forthcoming about everything. And Aries, this is what they're saying about you. Like they felt like you were the reason that this whole situation broke down. Like you were hiding something. I'm getting real narcissist vibes. So like if it sounds like I'm describing your person, this person could literally be telling people what they do in the relationship. Okay, we got the seven of swords and the judgment here. They hide a lot, but they run their, they hide a lot, but they run their mouth a lot. Isn't that weird? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't tell, they, they're constantly talking about your situation, but they're not telling the truth. It's almost like they're looking for validation from other people about your situation, but it's false validation because they're not honest about what they've done. They're hiding what they've done. I'm almost feeling like so they could get sympathy from other people. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, give us one more about, you know, what this person tells people. Got the three of pentacles. Ooh. The nine of swords. The tower and the page of cups. If you're not in connection with this person, they could be trying to plan a surprise visit towards you for some reason or another. They can't come towards you at the moment, but they could be trying to uh, plan a surprise pop up. I keep wanting to say pop up. So like, I don't know, maybe it's unexpected. They're coming with an apology here. They want to, you know, tell you that they want to work on this relationship. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Tower and page of cups and they want to come in and tell you um mm, sorry i just got a message is why i just paused they wanted to tell you about uh so okay because spirits tell me that's not what it is um for some of you this could be a situation i'm getting here like uh, this is a trigger warning so just letting you guys know if you had children with this person and, you know, you guys wanted to have a family together, they could tell people that, you know, there was a miscarriage within the relationship. Like this person really tells your business. I don't know who I'm speaking to about this, but they tell your business and that's not going to resonate with everybody. Obviously, everyone doesn't have miscarriages and whatnot, but um, the, 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 the energy, like the last few days has been really heavy. That's why I just put my head down because like when spirit wants you to say something, it's just like, you got to say it. And I just really didn't want to go there. So anyways, about to go look at Christmas lights. And so <laughs> that's the energy I'm in. And that was just really heavy. So I don't mean to laugh if this is someone's story, but that's just, I'm trying to laugh to lighten up. But, um, that, that's what they tell people. They're telling people that they wanted growth. They wanted to build, they wanted to build with you. They wanted to grow, but there was a situation here where let's just say this, because I'm hearing something else in my head and I don't want to go there. There was a pregnancy that didn't happen. Okay. It was a pregnancy that didn't happen one way or another. And again, I'm getting a blamer energy, unfortunately, which is just, you know, awful. It's really awful. Um, let's clarify this. Yeah, judgment. Like there was a decision made. Oof, Eight of Pentacles. Not to grow the connection. Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups. High Priestess. Yeah. So um yeah it was a secret it was something that was a secret but they it's some getting a real blamer energy wow i can't believe i'm gonna have to put another trigger warning on another video jeez so let's just take a look before as i wrap this up because i wanted to keep this really um really short let's just take a look oh my i'm getting neck issues Oh my gosh, I don't even know where that just came from. I don't know if this person complains like like that of like, you know, they have like a lot of stress and it could be because of 
what they've done to you or what put you through. So maybe I don't know if this person complains about um, that kind of thing. So that might be how you know, or Aries, that might be you right now. Maybe from so much stress that this person has put you through or something. Because, yeah. Oh my God, it just went away. Oh my God, that's so weird. That's never happened to me before. Um, yeah, so somebody here maybe have, I don't even know what the neck relates to, but I know that's like what you're, I don't even want to try to guess anatomy right now. I was going to say like your stem or something. I don't know. I know it does have to do with stress. So let's take a look. How does this person currently feel about Aries, this person that we're talking about? Ace of Wands, very passionate, wanting a new beginning, wanting to come in and, and, and start something new. Very lustful, I'm hearing. Very lustful. Four of Cups, they're ignoring the situation, right? They're ignoring, maybe they feel like you're ignoring them, but they're ignoring the situation. Page of Cups again, they're wanting to come in and act, play, I'm hearing play nice. They're wanting to come in and play nice. How does this person feel about Aries currently? Maybe even apologize for something. Wow. The sun here. So I feel like Aries, I'm hearing you're the best thing that they've ever had, right? You made them very happy. Three of cups, they want to come in and reconcile. And the two of pentacles, though, they're still, they're not sure if you want to. This person could have been a juggler, obviously, but they're not sure that you want to. They're very upset about a situation, argumentative. I feel like that's almost their love language. I don't even know where that came from. But it's their love, like that's how they, you know, like to interact with you is arguing. Maybe there's like a makeup sex or something. Two of cups is here. Okay, so they do feel like you're a soulmate to them. They still they feel very connected. Give me a few more cards on how this person feels about Aries. They feel like you're holding back. They cannot feel your there's that high priestess again. If you are very spiritually connected, they feel that you've cut off your energy from them. So they can't even feel your energy anymore. And they're and let me tell you, they're trying to desperately. I don't know if y'all heard Pugsley barking. He's <laughs> barking asleep. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. What else? How else does this person feel about Aries? Ace of Pentacles. They feel like oh, there it is again. Aries, I feel like they make that you have money. If you do or you don't, I don't know. They feel like you have money and you're a good opportunity. They also feel like they would want to propose marriage to you. That is under the marriage proposal. It's very, I was just about to say, it's so crazy. That's why this card is here. I'm not going to say it out loud again, but that's why this card is here. Because this spread looks completely different than what I just said they say about you. That spread was so dark, and this spread is so bright, okay? And we just have the Magician and the Four of Wands that came out. I mean, we have the Ace of Pentacles here, the Two of Cups, the Sun, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands. I mean, it's very bright. And so that lets you know that this person, okay, um, because they tell people things out of sympathy for themselves. Ugh. For themselves and I say Aries, whoever this is, they do it at your expense. And it's crazy because you know they view you, you know what I'm saying? Like this. This person is sick inside if you guys are not together. They are sick inside, and that's why they're telling people these nasty things about you. Because they can't have you, it feels like. This person would want to be, and I, I wonder how that would play out. Like if, I don't know if somebody's in separation, y'all got back together. Like, think about that. Like this person then said all this nasty shit about you. And then you, you say, oh, okay, well, I'm going to give you another chance. Just say hypothetically, I'm sure half of you, whoever is out there, you're not giving this person another chance. But just say you did give this person another chance. How would that work? I probably, this person, that's why this person is, you know what I'm saying? They're not even thinking that. Hmm, what if Aries gave me another chance? And then I have to go face everybody that I just told that they're an awful person. But so crazy and psychotic. Because that's what they're doing. They're saying that you're this, you, you everything that happened of the breakdown in the relationship was because of you. Um, and you did a lot of, you know, not good things. But how they feel about you is like they know this connection is like spiritual in nature, could be karmic. But, you know, it's, you know, and they're trying to manifest a new beginning with you. Absolutely. With the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Magician here, Four of Wands. They're trying to manifest a new beginning with you. We have the, we have the judgment here at the bottom of the deck. 
So I think they would want another opportunity with you if you would be willing to give it to them. So that's what I have for you guys. I was trying to keep it short, but it always gets good. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye.